Uh, Tristan, this is obviously a real shorthanded 76ers team, and you guys are at, at full strength, and, and, you know, the outcome is what it is. What What is – what's missing here? Is it maturity, toughness, guts, just fight? What What does this team need right now? Oh, um, I think um, at the end of the day, yeah, you know, they have a lot of guys out, but – you know, they're still NBA players, like Coach Longo said. They're still NBA players, and they still got something to prove. Um, we just got to come out with more uh, gritted intensity. You know, in the second quarter and fourth quarter, only scoring 19 and then 12 points. It's going to be hard to win some basketball games. So, uh, my apologies, I'm a little cold. I just got a little cold up, so bear with me. But... Um, yeah, you got to, of course, get stops, but you got to put that ball in the hoop, especially in the fourth quarter when it's winning time. Um, you know, we were up in the fourth quarter, in the beginning of the fourth quarter. Um, you know, we made some subs. You know, guys got to come in and, you know, keep the intensity going, keep the energy high, and, and we got to close out. You know, that's been something that we've um, had a tough time doing, closing out games. So... We gotta look at the film and see, you know, what's what's not working or what we need to add or uh, fix or change because these are a lot of winnable games that we should win, and we've been saying it for what the last two weeks about games that we should win. So it's not as much talking. It's you know, you gotta pull your socks up and get it done. Yeah, Tristan, that's back-to-back -back games. You guys have had strong third quarters. Uh, you know, against Utah, you guys are only four get points back. Tonight, you have a lead. What are you seeing just how the game's unfolding late in the fourth? What, are you, what sticks out to you the most about these late-game breakdowns? We were up four against Utah, or we were down four? Yeah, so. I mean, Utah, one thing about, like, I've been on playoff teams, been on really good teams, been on talented teams. Um, if you have opportunity to go up 10, 12, more than that, you got to, you got to jump on that. Like a team like Utah, kind of similar how like, you know, Dwayne Casey when he was in Toronto or Nick Nurse now once he's taken over, like those teams or even like Miami, those teams, like as long as they stay in within a two possession game, that's good for them because they know they have their sets. They got their veteran players that can make plays in the last two minutes. So for us as a young team, you got to gotta push that lead. You got to extend that lead. Even a team like this with the Sixers, you know, they got veteran players that have, you know, played a lot in this league, with like Shake Milton, you know, when uh, Ben was out, I think it was two years ago, and I think Shake Milton had about 30 on Doc Rivers with the Clippers, you know, so he's able to make big-time shots when the game's needed. Um, George Niang. Part of that, that that jazz umbrella, you know, uh, he's got better. He's gotten in shape, making shots. You know, Tyrese Maxey, clutch guy, by the way. Um, you know, he's improved a lot. And, um, you know, he seasons the opportunity of the starting point guard position with uh, Ben being out. So, you know, he's capitalizing on it. And we got to understand that these guys are hungry. You know, it doesn't matter if they're bench players or they played 15, 12 minutes. When they get the opportunity, you know, like myself, you know, I come to – Stomping on, stomping on MF's neck. So I understand their mentality because, you know, you want to be out there. So if you get that opportunity in the minutes, you're going to take full advantage. So I understand that. So you can't take that lightly. We just got to have that fight. And, and if, you know, if it's not coming from, you know, the starters, bench come in, got to get that energy. We got to challenge each other. Same way we did in training cap, how, you know, the second unit was going at the first unit and we were getting into it and, developing that swagger. So we, we need that. We need that grit. We need that fight. We need that FU mentality. We got away with a fine last interview, so I'm a... I'm a yeah, Tristan, I, it doesn't really matter who you guys are playing. It doesn't... I mean, you listed a bunch of guys there, but it does not seem to matter who you guys are playing at this point. How do you, as players... I mean, one guy just lost his job. As players, how do you step up? How do you have a conversation behind the scenes as a group and try to get back uh, whatever you've lost, whether it's competition or anything else? How do you get back to where you guys were earlier in the season? I think everyone has to look in the mirror. 
I think it's just not um, – it's not only just the players. I think, um, yes, it's a player's league, but players only have – you know, play. your job is to play. But in terms of uh, building a team, it takes a collective group. It takes everyone from the top to the bottom, from ownership to the trainers to the equipment managers to the players to the PT – to the GM, to assistant GM, scouts, it's all of us. I think it's just not a, the players have to figure it out. The players got to look in the mirror. The players, I think it's everyone has to look in the mirror. Everyone that, that's getting a check from the Sacramento Kings or is cutting the checks, we all got to look in the mirror. We all got to look at ourselves and say, how can I be 1% better for this, for this city, for this franchise? Um, but of course, yes, players, you're out there. You got to go and perform. But I think it's everyone. Everyone's got to get better. I think it's everyone. I think um, I'm a big believer in, um, you know, everything from the top to the bottom has to be on the same page and have understanding. I think that's the only way you could build something special. And I've, and I've experienced that where if, if, if there's loose ends anywhere, if anyone's cutting corners and, and hiding behind it, not doing their job or cutting or slacking, you're going to see it. It's like building a home, you know. If you don't put that steel right or you don't put that roof in right, when that, when that rainy day comes, your house is, you know, effed up. So it's everyone. Everyone's got to be better. Everyone's got to look in the mirror. Everyone's got to get a reality check. You know, we got to just have more toughness and grit. Like, you know, playing a little too nice. Got to get a little nasty. Got to hit a motherfucker on the floor. Got to make someone feel you. You know what I'm saying? Like, for Rich to get hit like that in his eye, playing hard, someone's got to go. Set a, set a legal screen or a back pick on someone to feel that. You know what I'm saying? Like, Rich, he, he punches the clock in. That kid works. He's got better every year for this, for this team and this franchise. And he gets hit in the eye, has a busted eye, but no one, you know, no one gives a hard foul or makes someone feel him. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the little things. Like, can't be nice in this league. Can't be nice. The nice teams always, always finish last or, or get excited about the lottery balls. So, you know, all these, all these guys here that are on this roster, they, they don't want to lose. They don't want to lose. They want to win. But we all got to look in the mirror and get 1% better. Everyone, everyone, everyone that steps in this building to, to work has to look and see how can they get better. Because right now, it's, it's, it's not a good feeling. We're not where we want to be. So it takes everyone. Everyone's got to be better. And everyone's got to be real with themselves. Be real with themselves. And, 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 and we got to be real with each other. Might not like it, but you're going to respect me at the end of the day. So, uh, Tristan, you know, with, you know, the dynamics and change in the coaching situation, we, we understand your feelings about inspiration, so I'm not, <laughs> you know, I'm not even going there, but. Yeah, no, it was even, it was even, it was even, a, no, like, just to clear that up, like, that had nothing, like, first of all, anyone that knows me and Luke, Luke's been my teammate before he's my coach, and as soon as I got traded to this team, you can ask Luke himself, the first thing I said, I said, listen, Luke, use my teammate before you're my coach, so you know you can always be real with me, because we've been teammates, you've seen me grow up. And it was nothing against Luke. Like, listen, that's a, he's a good man. He, he's been around basketball. He's part of NBA royalty. He knows what the, what the hell's going on. Um, that, that my quotes was nothing towards Luke. That's just general in life. I think it's, it's bigger than just those. What I said was bigger than just basketball. I think it's, it's life in general. You know what I'm saying? Like, you guys all have a job. You guys all have to put food on the table. You guys have people depending on you. That, that's what it's about. You know, that's just saying as, as, a, as an adult, you, you don't need another person to inspire you. And if you do, you're in the wrong career. For you guys, too, if you don't love covering sports, you're not going to be good at it. Or you'll probably just be at the same position you're at. And you'll never want to, you know, drive to be, you know, be the head of the division or own your own media company. So that was just, it was nothing about Luke. It was just life in general. That's, that's, that's some, some, Things I say are not just basketball related. You know, I think big picture. So, I mean, that's a that's a good man that that that, that unfortunately lost his job, and 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 you know he has his family as well. So, you know, I wish Coach Luke all the best. You know, that's he's known me since I've been a little guy, and he's given me a lot of buckets, and he's got a lot of assist off of me. So we've always had a good relationship. And also, uh, well, there's 64 games left. Mm -hmm. You know. You just mentioned a lot of things that you know you guys have to work on to make yourself better. But uh, what 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 can you do as far as to make? And, and of course, you know, uh, Coach Gentry has a lot of experience in you know coming in and, and trying to 
help out and massage these types of things. But what can you do to help them just a little bit more to get that push so you can start putting up some W's? Yeah. Um, I think the first thing we do is definitely close out halves better. I mean, if you second quarter and fourth quarter, those are two eye-popping things that stand out, you know. Only scoring 19 and 12 points, I mean, fourth quarter, they only scored 25 points, which is kind of what you want to limit a team to per, per quarter in this NBA, 27 points. So it wasn't like we weren't guarding. We just couldn't score. But also, you got to find out ways to get multiple stops. I'm a big believer in getting, you know, three stops in a row, but multiple times throughout the game. I think if you're able to string, like, multiple stops, that can help you. And it takes a lot of pressure off your offense. You know, if you're not getting stops and you're just relying on your offense, it's going to be tough. You know, like tonight, we shot, what, 41% from the field, but I think, was it like two games ago, we shot like 36, 35? There's going to be more nights like that. I guarantee you. There'll be more nights when we shoot 35% from the field. So we got to get stops. You got to get to guard your man. Got to be on a string. Know that if you're going to help, you got to trust that your teammates going to have your back. And if your teammate doesn't have your back, when we get to film, it's got to be on the film. It's got to be on the film because that's the only way you'll learn. Whether it's a young team, old team, the best way for players to learn is it's, it's, it's either in film or sitting beside Rico, Doug, and um, the coaching staff, and you're going to watch from the sidelines. So, I mean, that's how I, that's how I view it. So, it's either we're going to get stops or you're going to be sitting with a hot pack on the bench. Non-negotiable. Tristan, when you, when, you talk about, when you talk about the offense, though, and when you, you guys have experienced these, these lulls and not making shots and it seems, you know, it seems like you haven't been able to recover, I hear the defensive part of it, but what are you seeing on offense that's – I mean, is it a simple? I mean, there's, it seems like there's things that are breaking down at each and every play, and it kind of just snowballs. No, I think um, I think that's what's a great thing about having Alvin here is that he's an offensive guru. You know, him and Larry Drew are two uh, OGs in our game that 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 have a amazing playbook, and that's why the good teams always want them on their staff because they know how to get guys a position to score. So, I think Alvin's gonna start implementing some of the more th more of the offense that he likes. Which as he should, because they gonna you know they give him the the job. You, you might as well do it your way. I'm a big believer in that. If they give you the gig, do it your way, and 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 do it how you want to do it, because that's how it should be done. So, I think our offense is gonna clean up, and I think uh, with our speed and our and our, and our depth, and that's what Coach Gentry said that you know if we're not playing fast, you're coming out the game getting a breather. So I think he's gonna start doing that more and more, and 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 I feel like. That's to our advantage, our speed. You know, we got three guards that are top 10 quickest guys on the NBA getting, getting the ball down the floor. So we got to use that to our advantage. And then we got bigs that are mobile that can get up and down as well. And then we got guys on the wing that can play. You know, we got Buddy that can make shots. And you got HB that can rip and go. And Marv and even Mo. So we got, we got the pieces offensively to be really good. We just got to bring it all together. And I think that helps with the consistency of, you know, certain units playing with each other, I think that helps as well. You know, we've had guys in and out in different spots. I think sometimes that makes it a little tough, especially when you have, you know, Tyrese in the second year and Davion in his first year. You know, having different laps like that sometimes is, is, is tough for them. So um, we got to try to find a way to, you know, have a steady diet of the same thing so that they can get comfortable, you know. So um, I think that's what Coach Gentry is going to do. And, we got tomorrow to keep cleaning things up and get ready for Portland. Tristan, did, did you say the league fined you for your remarks last time? And if so, do, do you have any regrets about what you said? I think it's like double jeopardy, right? Like if, it's, if they didn't find you the first two days, they can't find you now, right? So yeah, I didn't get fined, <laughs> right? So they, they can't find me now, it's too late now. It's like past, it's past like the due date, you can't find me now. So no, I didn't get fined, you know, I've been living right. So, you know, they, they let me slide. I gave him enough money over the years. One more question on Zoom. Christos, go ahead. Hope you're doing well. What is not working well for you guys as a, so far in this season from your perspective? What's not working well for us? Um, fourth quarter, closing it out. Fourth quarter, was, whether it's getting stops or scoring, I think we've um, – it's either one of the two. There's some nights where we're, we're, we're scoring, but we're not getting no stops either or. So we just got to find out ways to close the game and, 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 and find a package that works for our team in the fourth quarter so that we can close out and play to 
you know, D Fox's strengths and, and have him get downhill and have him create and have our shooter space, whether it's Buddy or Tyrese or HB, getting getting those space and getting them pockets to, 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 to make a shot. So we just gotta do a better job in the fourth quarter. I think, you know, the last five minutes, you know, it comes down to a two possession game and, and the teams that, you know, that are able to execute the right way are the ones that are able to get the win. So that's what we gotta clean up probably the last five minutes in fourth quarter. That's that's kind of what's been killing us. So we gotta improve there. Thank you, Tristan. Mm-hmm.